How to make Canva slides with Morph Transition for Beginners 2023. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and absolutely incredible day. I bring you back with yet another video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about something a bit different, okay? We're gonna be talking about making slides in Canva, okay? Because that is also obviously a feature of Canva. And this Canva feature helps us to make, you know, PowerPoint presentation slides and all that. And you can present these slides in any type of, uh, you know, meeting and stuff. And you're, you know, you're probably thinking, why not just use PowerPoint to make slides? Now, obviously you could use PowerPoint, but you know, you don't get the wide range of art that Canva provides you in PowerPoint. So that's why I recommend using Canva. So to start off for making slides, what you're going to do is uh, obviously we're going to come here. Here they give us different options, you know, presentation, slides, websites, etc, etc. So to go with slides, you could either go with presentation. Okay, so let's go with this. Okay, this is our presentation slide. Now, you can keep on adding more things in your slide to, you know, get that integrational uh, morph slide. And uh, you can obviously make sure to choose the more integratory type of art. Like, obviously, it depends mostly on the type of art that you're going to add. OK, so let's go with our first slide as um, let's go with this. You know, this is just our first slide. So I'm just going to go ahead and add this over here to group project. And we're going to click on plus. So here's our next slide. Obviously, you can add more things into these uh, group slides of yours. So let's say I'm going to add something different. Let's go in this. I'm going to add this over here. So there's the introduction and stuff. And uh, obviously, just keep adding more lines of slides. And uh, like, you know, you can add more art into these slides. So let's say I'm going to go in elements. I'm going to do square, you know. It's going to give me a square box over here and you could obviously make this a bit smaller and uh, obviously to add different morphs in this you need to add some nice little curvature things and stuff and let me show you what i mean by that so let's say there's the corners i'm going to bring this down here now you can add you know different uh, things on top of this so let's say i'm going to go with pot a flower pot yeah, you know what that should be good enough let's just add this so we're going to do that. And let me show you what I mean by, you know, you can just keep on adding design. So look at that. That looks like a proper table, doesn't it? And we're going to move on. Let's add a cat on top of the design. So let's go with this. There's a cat keeper right on top. There we go. So, you know, looks really nice. And uh, then you can obviously add borders and different types of windows into the design. Again, that is also going to be a pretty uh, easy and fast uh, design for you to add. And uh, you can obviously for sure add different uh, elements beside it, above it. Uh, so let's go ahead and add some clouds. You know, we want to make it look uh, really nice and artistic. Now, obviously, the clouds are blended with the color. So you could obviously go ahead and change the color. And look at that. There's your cloud. Obviously, I'm going to make them a bit smaller and uh, then you can obviously add more different types of uh, different styles of clouds right uh, you know beside the cat if you can there we go so you know just uh, try to add most of these things that you can so you can you know morph these more efficiently and more properly into your design and uh, then obviously like it's a proper morph design, right? So let's discuss on how you can actually move things in your design. So to be moving things in your design, what you're going to do is you're going to start animating them. Okay. Now to start animating your design, let's say this is one slide, right? Now we're going to go ahead, copy this whole slide. Okay. We go away. Yeah. Do that. And we're going to go ahead and duplicate this page as so. Now, obviously, as I stated, to morph the design, like obviously when the person goes on to the next slide. The, now, let's say I'm going to move the cat over here and uh, let's say the cat dropped the pot. You know, the pot has been dropped. It's going to move here and the clouds have moved into each other. Let's say this design goes a bit down. Let's also add some, you know, let's say I'm going to add a circle. Here we go. There's our circle. Let's add this on this side. And we're going to add some small circles around it. Take this. Uh, so add this one here. Copy, paste, paste there, there, copy, paste, bring it there. And then again, you're going to paste some, add this here. Oh, wait, let me duplicate. Or you could just copy this whole thing. You know, copy, 
bring it down here click on this paste it there we go now you could obviously like let's rotate the circle oh wait let me just group these and that will make it much easier so I'll do that group these and then you can rotate the circle now obviously as you can see it's morphed and it's rotated so the main concept is to add as many designs as you can that will look as if it morphed into the next slide so let's say if i present this in a full screen oh there we go now if we do that look at that it looks like it morphed now to obviously make it look like it morphed in a more uh, smooth and efficient way you could go ahead and add effects obviously so obviously there's effects over here in animation so you know this cat can drift so that the cat can drift let's say we add drift to the cat we add drift to the pot let's add some uh there should be a rotating yeah tumble there we go add motion effect yeah there we go there's rotate and then you can choose where to rotate it now obviously to uh, mess around with the rotation speed you're gonna need to have camera pro so that's one con to this but you get like you can do it without that as well because look at that there goes the pot there comes the rotating circle you go into the next and there you go the pot has been dropped by the cat so you know you could add more transitions like this into your slides in the easiest way possible so yeah that is how you're you know just gonna redirect yourself to canva and make the most easiest morph transition slides in canva like it's so simple and it's so like like easy to you know actually go in with the full artwork and design of canva like canva brings you all these different uh, you know features and animations and all these elements that you can use in a variety of ways to just get the best out of it all like look at this this is just a normal rectangle uh, i use that rectangle to you know make me a cat table and you know there's a cat on it there's a pot on it and then i you know changed it in the next slide to morph it i use some you know animations and uh, you know by using all of these uh things that canva itself has provided me i can get a general you know uh eased out look on all of this and it's really easy and really simple to follow through with this because you know you don't get this entire suite of um basic you could say uh, editorial controls in uh, you know in such a short span of time this easily so you know pretty great and uh, pretty easy stuff to actually mess around with so uh, I hope this tutorial was extremely helpful to you and uh, if you need any more videos like this please do tell me I am always available and I will give you the easiest step-to-step -step guide for any type of videos that you demand and uh, if you have any queries regarding this video you can let me know down in the comments uh, and uh, yeah I'll, I guess I'll see you next time uh, before signing off uh, please like and subscribe to the channel and uh, leave down a nice comment if you watch the video and please don't forget to share this video with uh, any of your friends in need or your family. And uh, I hope you all have a great day. So until next time, I'll see you later and goodbye.